Welcome to another episode of Tinkering Experiments. In this episode, we are going to use PLA to weld these parts together and just see how strong it could be. I'll weld the parts on the left together with PLA and then we'll use super glue for the parts on the right and then we'll compare them. I'll start welding the parts together with some gray filament. I'll have the speed at 10. Last time I tried to use it to fill in the gaps on a print and I actually punctured a hole in it instead. But it actually doesn't seem too hard to friction weld these parts together. I'm wondering how strong this would be afterwards. Let's compare the parts that I welded with PLA and the parts that I glued together with super glue. Interesting, these are actually really sturdy. I didn't think the two parts will hold when I'm trying to snap it. Let's compare it with the super glue one. Oh, it broke off right away. We'll take a look at the next print. The prints where I friction welded together with PLA are really strong. It doesn't seem like it's going to snap at all. As I thought, the super glue ones just snapped right away. But I actually think for these two prints that it actually wasn't cured properly yet. Well, let's check the last prints. Both of these are actually pretty good. The super glue one is pretty strong and so is the friction welded one. The only difference is the friction welded parts have an extra layer of PLA on it now, so it's actually a very uneven surface. I wonder if I sand it down and post process it, how sturdy it would be and would it actually look good? I guess that would be another experiment. Well there we have it, we use PLA to weld these PLA parts together and I would say they actually work really well. They are really strong and sturdy. So far this method seems way stronger than super glue. Although it does take a bit to get used to this method, but um, if we can actually sand it down and make it smooth, I believe it would look really nice and it will also be really sturdy. Before I end, I just want to remind everyone about Tinkering New. The platform has a lot of teaching resources like 3D printed courses, Steam challenges, and CAD tutorials. So be sure to check it out. That's the end of our experiment. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you did not, then a thumbs down below. Remember to subscribe and comment on what experiments we'd like to see in the future. Thank you for watching. Take care out.